Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Introduction to LibreOffice Writer. In this tutorial, we will learn about LibreOffice Writer, various toolbars in Writer, how to open a new and existing document, to save and close a document in Writer, to save as MS Word document, to export as a PDF document. LibreOffice Writer is the word processor component of the LibreOffice Suite. It is the equivalent of Microsoft Word in Microsoft Office Suite. It is free and open source software. It can be shared, modified and distributed without any restrictions. LibreOffice Writer can run on any of the following operating systems. Microsoft Windows 8 or higher versions. GNU Linux OS and Mac OS X. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. By default, the latest Ubuntu Linux OS has LibreOffice Suite pre installed in it. To install a specific version, Refer to the LibreOffice installation series on this website. Let us learn how to open LibreOffice Writer. In Ubuntu Linux OS, click on the Show Applications icon located at the bottom left corner. In the search bar, type Writer. From the displayed list, click on the LibreOffice Writer icon. In Windows OS, Click on the Start menu icon located at the bottom left corner. In the search bar, type Writer. From the displayed list, click on the LibreOffice Writer icon. This will open an empty document in the main Writer window. Now, let us learn about the main components of the Writer window. The Writer window has various toolbars at the top. These are Title Bar, Menu Bar, Standard Toolbar and Formatting Bar. At the bottom, we see the Search Bar, Drawing Toolbar and Status Bar. We can enable or disable these toolbars from the interface. To do so, go to the View menu and select Toolbars. From the Sub menu, check or uncheck the toolbars based on your preference. At the right side, we see the vertical scroll bar and sidebar. All of these have the most commonly used options. We will learn about these as the series progresses. Now let us learn how to open a new document in Writer. We can open a new document by clicking on the new icon in the standard toolbar. Alternatively, go to the file menu in the menu bar. Then click on the sub menu New and select the option Text Document. A new writer document named Untitled 2 opens up. Close the newly opened document named Untitled 2 by clicking on the X icon at the top right. Now we will type some text in the Untitled 1 document. Type the word Resume. Once done typing our document, we should save it for future use. To save the file, click on the save icon in the standard toolbar. A dialog box appears on the screen. It prompts us to enter the name of our file in the name field. I will type the name of the file as resume. On the left side, I will select desktop as the location to save my file. Notice we have a file type drop down at the bottom right corner. Click on this drop down. It shows a list of file types or file extensions in which we can save our file. The default file type in LibreOffice Writer is ODF Text Document .odt. ODF stands for Open Document Format which is an open standard. It is also accepted by the Government of India policy on open standards in e-governance. I will click on the ODF text document option to save my file. 
do likewise on your machine. Click on the save button at the top right corner of the dialog box. We will be redirected back to the writer window. Observe the change in the title bar now. It has changed to resume.odt. Besides saving in .odt format, we can also save our file in .doc and in .docx formats. Files with these formats can be opened later in MS Word application. Now we will save the same file as a .docx file. Go to the file menu in the menu bar and then click on the save as option. In the save as dialog box, click on the file type drop down at the bottom right corner. Scroll down and select word 2007-365.docx. Again choose the same file location to save. Then click on the save button at the top right corner of the dialog box. If we save the file in any other file format, confirm file format dialog box opens up. Put a check on ask when not saving in ODF or default format option. Then click on the use word 2007-365 format button. We will be redirected back to the writer window. Observe the change in the title bar now. It has changed to resume.docx. The file can also be exported to PDF format. Click on the export directly as PDF icon in the standard toolbar. Type a file name, choose a location and click on the save button at the top right. I will click on cancel and show another way of saving the document in PDF format. Click on the file menu in the menu bar and select export as sub menu option. Then click on the export as PDF option. PDF option dialog box opens up. In this dialog box, we will see various settings to customize the PDF option. Keep the default setting as it is and click on export button at the bottom. Type a file name, choose a location and click on the save button at the top right. A PDF file will be created in the selected location. Another popular extension which opens in most application is .rtf, the rich text format. We can save the file in .html format also, which is a web page format. This is done in the same way as explained above. In the file type drop down, scroll down and select HTML document writer .html. This option gives the .html extension to the document. Again, choose the same file location to save. Now click on the save button at the top right corner of the dialog box. The confirm file format dialog box opens. Put a check on ask when not saving in ODF or default format option. Then click on the use HTML document writer format button. We see that the file get saved with .html extension. This format is used when we want to show our document as a web page. It can be opened in any web browser. Let's close this document by clicking on the file menu and then close. Next, we will learn how to open an existing document in LibreOffice Writer. Let us open the document resume.odt. Click on the open file menu on the left of the LibreOffice interface. The file browser dialog box opens up. Go to the location where our file is saved. Now in the list of files name that appears, choose resume.odt. Then click on the open button at the top right corner. The file resume.odt opens in the writer window. Likewise, we can also open files with .doc and .docx extension in Writer. Next, we will see how to modify a file and save it under the same file name. So first, let us select the word resume. To do so, click on the left mouse button and then drag it along the text. This will select the text and highlight it. Now, 
release the left mouse button. The text should be still highlighted. Now click on the bold icon in the formatting bar. The text thus become bold. Next, let us align the word resume to the center of the page. If you have resized your LibreOffice window, some of the icons may not be visible. In that case, click on the double arrow icon at the end of the toolbars. Click on the align center icon in the formatting bar. We see that the text gets aligned to the center of the page. Now, let us increase the font size of the text. So, click on the down arrow in the font size field in the formatting bar. In the drop down, let us select 14. The font size of the text increases to 14. Next, let us change the font we are using. Click on the down arrow in the font name field in the formatting bar. In the drop down, let us select undotum. The font name of the text has changed to undotum. Let us now save the changes that we have made. To do so, Press Ctrl plus S keys together. The file gets saved with the same file name even after the modification is done. Let's close the document now. Click on the file menu in the menu bar and then click on the close option. This brings us to the end of the spoken tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn about LibreOffice Writer, various toolbars, how to open a new and existing document, to save and close a document in Writer, to save as MS Word document, to export as a PDF document. As an assignment, open a new document in Writer. Save it under the name practice.odt. Type the text, this is my first assignment. Underline the text, increase the font size to 16. Save and close the file. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please write to us. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. The Spoken Tutorial project team will ensure an answer. You will have to register on this website to ask questions. The Spoken Tutorial forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help reduce the clutter. With less clutter, we can use this discussion as instruction material. The Spoken Tutorial project is funded by MHRD Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by Desi Crew Solution Private Limited in 2011. This is Prati Kamle along with the spoken tutorial team from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.